Hi everyone, I hope you are doing really well. Welcome back to another yoga practice. Today will be a morning flow. It is morning for me. As always, I haven't done much and I'm going to move for the first time today with you. Focus will be on back bends. So when you are ready, we're going to get straight into it today. Make your way into a tabletop position. Bringing your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Take a moment, settle in. Spread your fingers wide, pressing the palms, finger pads into the mat. Find length through the arms, ground through your shins, tops of your feet. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, begin to tuck your tailbone under. Round through your spine as you pull your navel in. Separate the shoulder blades at the back, chin into chest. Press the floor away. Inhale, tuck the tailbone out. Drop the belly, look ahead or up. And keep going exhale to round nice and slow move with your breath follow the movement in your spine bottom to top each time inhaling to arch really try and find that squeeze across the backs of your shoulder blades upper back and exhale to round again chin into chest inhale to arch drop the belly look ahead or up and exhale to round Keep your spine rounded, move to the right, begin to tuck your tailbone out, drop the belly, arch your spine, come to the left, and then as you come back up, round through your spine. So you're arching as you move to the right, and rounding as you come across to the left and come up. Good, begin to make it a more circular movement now. So as you come to the right, go forwards, come towards your left, and then back towards your right coming to center let's switch direction so try and move intuitively as you drop towards the left arch your spine rotate your chest forwards and then take it back towards the right rounding through your spine come to center stay here drop your belly look ahead or up and exhale come to a neutral spine Walk your hands out in front of you, lengthen the arms, inhale, exhale, drop your forehead towards the floor. Alternatively, you can come onto your chin and chest, maybe grip the top of the mat for an extra stretch in your shoulders, a little bit of extra support. Keep breathing, hips up, melting your chest towards the floor. Notice the stretch, the opening in your throat, stretch in your upper back. Let's bring the hands all the way back in. Take a big breath in, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, thread it through underneath the left arm. Lengthen the left arm out long ahead of you. Press away through the fingertips. Notice the stretch in your left shoulder. Now bring your left palm to the right, clapping your hands. Inhale, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling and exhale bring the palms back down together inhale to lift and exhale lower slowly return the left hand towards the front of the mat lengthen the left side body and then bring it back in inhale right arm up towards the ceiling one more time and exhale release let's do the other side inhale left arm up Exhale, thread it through underneath the right arm. Come to lie on the left side of your face, your cheek or temple. Extend the right arm ahead of you, taking it long, lengthening your right side body. Bring the right palm now on top of the left. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the ceiling. And exhale, right hand to left. One more time, inhale, right arm reaches up. And exhale, release. Return the right arm all the way out forwards. Bring it all the way back in. And inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand to mat. Press the palms into the mat. Tuck the toes under. Press your hips back into a downward facing dog. We're going to pedal through the feet, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. So as you bend your right knee, bring it all the way across to the left. Bring it back and then bend your left knee. Take it all the way across to the right. So you're moving through your hips, through your side body, just being a little bit more playful. 
Come to stillness, come to center, have a pedal through the feet here, pressing one heel towards the floor and then moving on to the other side. Finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, roll your spine forwards and then lift the chest, lift the heart up, coming into your cobra. Tuck your tailbone out, press back into your downward facing dog. We're going to do that a couple more times. Inhale to ripple your spine forwards, drop the hips, lift the heart, look up, cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips back, downward facing dog. So again, move intuitively with your body and move with your breath so you're rounding your spine forwards and then coming into a cobra as you drop the front of your hips lift the heart and then exhaling yourself back into a downward facing dog take a big breath in sweep the right leg back behind in a three-legged dog exhale bend the knee stack through your hips reach the right foot behind the left leg really press away through the heel or you're pointing your toes Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, step the right foot through in between your hands. Bring the back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up, low lunge. Breathe out, stay here. Ground through your right foot and your back leg. Notice the stretch in your left hip, hip flexor. Take a big breath in, lengthen the arms. As you exhale, begin to round through your spine. Sweep the arms forward, chin into chest. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms forward, rounding through your spine. And again, inhale, arms reach up. And exhale to round as you separate the shoulder blades at the back. So keep going. Again, move with your own breath, moving the right leg as needed. Come into your low lunge. Now stay here. Interlace your fingers, reaching the index fingers up and back. Really lifting through the heart, stretching the legs. Let's take a big breath out, half split. Pull the right hip back, hinge forwards, hands on hips or on the mat. Right foot flexed, fingers or toes point towards you. Inhale, bend the front knee. Press the palms to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes under. Take the right leg all the way back behind, stacking through your hips. Right foot reaches behind that left leg. Inhale. Exhale, wild thing. Rolling onto the outer edge of your left foot. Release the right fingertips. Land the right toes. Open the heart. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, lift the right leg up and step it to the front of the mat in a lizard lunge. Fingertips on the mat, rock back and forth here, really pressing the front of your hips towards the floor, pushing back into that back heel each time you shift back. Let's turn the toes, sweep your way into your left leg, Skandasana, side lunge. Really focus on the opening through your hips, use your hands, your arms to support you. Let's sweep into the right leg this time, finding a Skandasana side lunge here. So use your hands to support you. On the way here, try and stay as low as you can, really working through your hips. Let's shift back into the left leg one more time, finding that skandasana, that side lunge, side lunge on the left side. Keep breathing, shifting back into the right leg, this time finding your uh, lizard lunge again. Press the palms into the mat, take the right leg back, any plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Take one full breath in your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, sweep the left leg back behind, bend the knee, stack through your hips, knee up towards the ceiling, reaching the left foot behind the right leg. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, exhale, step the left foot through in between your hands. Back knee comes down, low lunge, arms reach up. Inhale and exhale. Notice the stretch in your right hip flexor. Inhale again. On your exhale, sweep the arms forward, rounding through your spine, chin into chest. And inhale, arms reach up. So keep moving with your breath at your own pace. You're just opening your heart as you come into your low lunge and exhaling rounding 
so the front knee is just there to support the movement you're just trying to mobilize through your upper body warm up your spine and move with your breath stay with your balance inhale arms reach up and exhale to really round through your spine separate the shoulder blades inhale come back to your low lunge stay here interlace your fingers try and do the opposite of what you did on the first side reaching the index fingers up and back behind finding that c shape with your spine lifting the heart up strong through your legs Slowly on your next exhale, hands come to frame the front foot or hands on your hips. We're going to pull the left hip back, half split. Try and keep the spine long. Lower your belly towards your left thigh and then go further with your upper body. Keep the left toes pointed towards you and focus on that stretch in the back of your left leg. Let's bend into the front knee, press the palms into the mat. Take the left leg all the way back behind, finding that wild thing straight away. Left leg reaches back behind the right. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Slowly release the left fingertips, left toes behind the right leg. In your wild thing. Inhale. On your exhale, lift the left leg up and step it to the front of the mat in your lizard lunge hands to the inside of the left leg let's begin to shift back and forth keep the heart lifted keep the crown of the head lengthening up and forwards let's shift into the right leg finding your skandhasana side lunge in your right side right knee bent left leg long notice your hips notice your left inner thigh anywhere else Use your arms, use any movements that help mobilize, help open up through the hips. Slowly shifting into your left leg. Now finding your skandhasana side lunge on this side. Keep the right foot nice and active. Making your way back into your right leg one more time. Use your hands, stay as low as you can. Notice how you feel in your hips today and how you can move in your side lunge to help release, find some release and opening through there slowly shifting back into the left leg in your uh, lizard lunge press the palms take the left leg back any plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog let's take a big breath in come up onto your toes exhale bend your knees look ahead Inhale to step, float, or jump top of the mat in a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time, big breath in, arms sweep all the way up to the ceiling. Interlace your fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take it over to the other side, side bending to your left, lengthening the right side body. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Take one more big breath in, sweep the arms all the way up, maybe taking them a little bit back behind, finding a back bend here. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, press the palms, step, float, or jump back, plank pose or chaturanga straight away. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one full breath here, notice your shoulders, notice the backs of your legs. Inhale, ripple your spine forwards, coming into a plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga all the way to the floor. Tuck the toes under, press the palms, lift up. Exhale, drop the knees. Press the hips up, chin and chest to floor, finding a puppy pose again. Keep your hands on the mat or maybe take them back behind, palms face up. Stay strong, feel the opening through your throat, your upper back. 
Option to take the arms behind your back, interlace the fingers and push the arms up towards the ceiling. Any variation is fine. Slowly go ahead and release wherever you are. Press the palms underneath the shoulders, finding your cobra. Lift up as you inhale, maybe upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes under, press yourself up plank pose. Exhale, lower yourself back down to the mat. Reach the arms out forwards, lengthening the arms, look towards your mat. Inhale, lift your arms and your head up. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift, keep your feet on the mat. Exhale to lower one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower yourself back. Bring the hands underneath your forehead, rest your forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale, lower. And again, inhale to lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale again, lift. Keep reaching through the toes, lengthen the legs. Exhale, lower yourself back down. Good, take a moment, bring the hands back behind this time, interlace your fingers, push the palms towards the feet, lift your head, shoulders and your legs up. Keep reaching, keep pointing, keep lengthening and lifting, keep breathing. On your next exhale, come all the way back down, bring your hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself up into a plank pose and exhale, downward facing dog. Well done, let's inhale, sweep the right leg back behind, three-legged dog, exhale, knee to nose, hold, inhale, three-legged dog, bend the knee, take the right leg back behind the left, and exhale, right knee, left tricep, and again, inhale, right foot reaches behind the left leg, exhale, right knee, left tricep, one more time, take the right leg all the way back behind, this time, exhaling right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. One more time. Inhale, right leg lengthens back behind. Exhale, bend the knee, step it through in between your hands. Arms reach up, high lunge. That was a bit intense, but we made it. Interlace your fingers, reach the index fingers up and back behind, lengthening and finding that C shape through your body. Exhale, hands onto your hips, straighten your front leg, hinge forwards, long pyramid pose, hands on the mat if you prefer. Bend into your front knee. Inhale, reach the arms up, coming into your warrior two. Plant the back heel, front knee bent, back leg straight, arms long. Feel free to adjust your legs. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten your right leg, right arm towards the floor, left arm up. Inhale, bend your front knee, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, lengthen the left side of your body, lengthen the crown of your head forwards. Inhale, one more time, come up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Stay here, take one full breath, lengthening your left side body, noticing the stretch in your right leg. On your next inhale, bend into your front knee, take the right arm up and over, reverse your warrior one more time. On your exhale, finding your side lunge skandasana in your left leg. Good, notice how you feel, keep breathing. On your exhale, find your wide-legged forward fold. Coming wide with your legs, toes turned in towards each other or feet parallel. Let's grab onto the big toes. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, fold. Crown of the head towards the floor, finding a bend in your elbows. You can always bring your legs a little bit closer or take them a little bit further apart. Keep pressing your hips up, legs back, noticing the big stretch in the backs of your legs. On your next inhale, slowly release the toes, come up. Exhale, sweep the arms into the right leg, turning both feet facing forward, arms reach up, high lunge. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows to the hips 
and then bring the arms in towards each other left arm over right eagle arms inhale arms reach up exhale take them back behind finding a back bend strong through your legs find length in your back leg bend in your front knee sinking through your hips keep breathing slowly return to center shift the weight into your right leg when you are ready left leg lifts in your warrior three variation with your eagle arms stay strong find that balance take a big breath in Bend into the front knee, swing the left leg round to the front, left ankle just above your right knee. Inhale and exhale, sit into your hip, strong through your right leg, reaching that left knee towards the floor using gravity, staying in your eagle arms. Keep your left foot flexed. Keep breathing, you're doing amazing. Keep your focus, keep your balance. On your next inhale, slowly come up, left knee into chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. We're still in our eagle arms. Stay strong through your right leg. Stay with your balance. You got it, you got it. Take a big breath in. Exhale, land the left toes, high lunge. Reach the arms up and back one more time, finding that back bend. Slowly return to center. Bring the back knee down, tuck the toes out, low lunge. Take the right leg back behind, coming to kneeling. Release the arms. We're going to come into a camel pose. Bring your hands to the backs of the hips. Looking down towards your body, chin into chest, lengthen, lift the heart, inhale. As you exhale, begin to find your back bend. Keep pressing the hips forward so your hips stay over your knees. Option to release the hands to your heels. And the very last thing to move is your head if you feel comfortable taking it up and back behind. Slowly go ahead and release. Come all the way back around to the front. Sit on your heels, round through your spine. And then move on your hips around your lower back in any way that feels nice, finding some release. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Come to kneel. Exhale, elbow, bend the elbows to the hips and then arms squeeze in towards each other, left over right, eagle arms. Step the right leg forwards, low lunge, take the arms up and back behind, back bend again. Exhale, hinge forwards as you pull that right hip back, tucking the back toes under, long pyramid pose, release the arms to the floor or on your hips. Bend into your front knee, press the palms of right leg back. Take it all the way back behind, finding your wild thing again. Opening through the heart, lifting the heart, squeezing your glutes, pressing your belly button up. On your next exhale, right hand to mat, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's repeat that on the other side. Inhale, left leg sweeps back behind. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, hug it in, knee to nose. Inhale, take the left leg back behind, stack through your hips, reaching that left foot behind the right leg. Exhale, left knee, right tricep twist. Inhale, take it all the way back behind. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog, extend the left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, hold. Inhale, take it back one more time, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, step the left foot in between your hands. Settle in through your feet, inhale, arms reach up, high lunge. Breathe out, stay here. Interlace your fingers, try and do the opposite of what you did on the first side, reaching the index fingers up and back, opening through your shoulders. Exhale, open up into your warrior two, plant the back heel, arms long, front knee bend, strong through your legs, flip the left palm up, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, lengthen the left leg, left arm towards the floor, right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come up, reverse your warrior, bend the front knee. 
Exhale back into your triangle pose. Lengthen your right side body. Length, open the shoulders. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Stay here, lengthening the crown of your head forwards. Reaching the right arm up, staying open through your chest, your collarbone. Stay strong through your feet. Notice the stretch in your left leg. Inhale, bend into your front knee. Reverse your warrior one more time. Left arm up and over. Exhale, side lunge skandasana, right leg. Sweep the arms, sweep yourself to your right leg. Bend the right knee, left leg long. Notice how you feel. Now that we have done this a couple of times, maybe you feel a little bit different to what you did in the beginning. Take a big breath in, find your wide-legged forward fold. Legs wide, toes turned in, take an inhale and exhale. Let's grab onto the big toes again, inhale, look ahead. Exhale, fold, bringing the crown of your head towards the floor one more time. Find that bend in the elbows. Press actively up through your hips, legs back. Feel the really big stretch for your legs. And keep breathing here. On your next inhale, slowly go ahead and release the toes. Come up halfway. Exhale, shift back into that left leg. Hands come to frame the front foot. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows to the hips. Bring the arms towards each other to your chest. This time, right arm over the left, eagle arms. Take a moment, settle in through your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, find your back bend. Lifting the heart, lengthening your spine, reaching the arms back behind. Keep breathing. Stay strong in your balance. Inhale, come back to center. Shift the weight into your left leg when you are ready. Lift the right leg up. Warrior three, stay in your eagle arms. Stay grounded, stay strong. Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, swing the right leg all the way around to the front, knee into chest. You can see that I'm wobbling a little bit here. Bringing the outer right ankle above the left knee, find your figure four. Sit into your left hip, flex your right foot, right knee towards the floor. Stay in your eagle arms. Keep breathing. Keep your focus your gaze constant and keep breathing let's inhale slowly come up right knee into chest exhale take it back nice and easy move with your breath warrior three find your balance find that strength that activation in your left leg strong grounded through your left foot inhale on your exhale, bend the front knee, big step back, landing in your high lunge. Take the arms up and over, back bend one more time. On your inhale, slowly return to center. Bring the back knee down, tuck the toes out, take the left leg back, in. come to kneel. Keep your eagle arms. We're going to do a camel pose with the eagle arms. So you can keep your toes tucked under or out. Find your balance, find your focus. When you are ready, slowly begin to find that back bend, tucking the tailbone slightly out, strong through your hips, your legs, pressing your hips forwards over your knees. You might not go as far as you do in a regular camel because of the added weight of the arms, but it's good to try different things. Slowly come out when you are ready, nice and slow, take your time. It's quite strong to be here. Let's do a regular camel pose now. So bringing your hands onto your back, fingers towards the floor, chin into chest, lift the heart, inhale, and exhale, begin to find your back bend, bringing your hands onto your heels, lifting the head up and back if it is comfortable. Take a big breath in, sweep the right arm all the way up and back, looking to your left. Exhale, sweep it all the way back behind, rest it on your right heel. 
inhale left arm sweeps across your front body take it all the way back looking towards the right exhale sweep it all the way back left hand to left heel camel pose slowly from here begin to release come to seated nice and slow sitting on your heels twist to the right and twist to the left well done Camel pose is always quite intense, but it feels really good after. Take a moment, coming back to yourself, finding your breath, come back to kneel, sweep the arms up as you inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows to the hips, reach the arms towards each other, finding your eagle arms again, right over left. Bring the left leg forwards, low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up and back, finding that C shape, that back bend one more time. On your exhale, slowly return to center, undo the hands, hands on hips or on the floor, tuck the back toes and out, lift the back knee up, long pyramid fold, pulling that left hip back, folding over your left leg, keep breathing. Slowly bending into your front knee, press the palms into the mat, take the left leg all the way back behind and find your wild thing. Take the step, the left foot behind the right leg, left arm reaches up and over, open your heart, squeeze your glutes. Notice how you feel, press away through your feet. On your next exhale, slowly return the left hand, coming to a plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Dog. Well done. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look ahead. Inhale to step, float or jump, top of the mat, half lift. Exhale, Forward Fold. Grab onto opposite elbows, maybe have a sway from side to side. Take the feel to the feet out a little bit wider perhaps and really sink towards the floor through the crown of your head, really nice and heavy through your upper body, bringing the weight of your upper body over towards the front of your feet. Notice how you feel lengthening the arms, shoulders heavy. Let's bring the feet back in towards each other. Take the arms behind, holding onto the backs of your calves or to your calves. Fold over your legs, hips up. Slowly go ahead and release. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Feel free to shake the legs out for a moment. And then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, take them back behind you, interlace your fingers, push the palms towards the floor, arms towards the floor, lift the heart, tuck your tailbone out. And exhale to fold, bringing the arms up towards the ceiling or ahead. Pulse the arms if it feels nice for your shoulders. Inhale, come up. Tuck your tailbone out, lift the heart up, finding a back bend here. And exhale again, folding, bringing the arms with you. Pulsing if you like. One more time, inhale, come up, tuck the tailbone out. Lift the heart, find that arch through your back, reach the arms back behind, strong through your legs. And exhale, forward fold. Heavy through the crown of your head. Inhale to lift up. And then slowly release the fingers. Take them all the way back up towards the ceiling. Palms touch. And exhale round through your spine. Sweep the arms forward as you find a bend in your knees. So similar what we did is we were seated. Finding standing cat cows, moving the arms with you. Inhale to lift and lengthen, lift the heart up. Keep that bend in the knees. 
and exhale to round sweep the arms forward separate your shoulder blades keep going inhale lift the heart reach the arms up tuck the tailbone out and exhale to round keep the bend in your knees inhale come all the way up lengthen the legs and exhale hands to heart inhale sweep the arms all the way up palms touch exhale hands to opposite sides of your waist twisting your left shoulder back inhale arms reach all the way up to the ceiling one more time exhale hands to the opposite sides of your waist twisting your right shoulder back so they're going in that general direction you're looking for that twist inhale come back to center arms reach up exhale forward fold dive down inhale lengthen halfway flat back exhale bend the knees press the palms step float or jump back to your plank pose or exhale straight away chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward dog good take a moment take a breath inhale ripple your spine forwards plank pose exhale drop your knees chest and chin lengthen the arms out long in front of you or maybe grip the mat again so we will in a moment tuck the toes under and lift the knees up so it is only an option it's quite strong so do whatever feels best in your body one foot at a time or both together hips up pressing your heels back strong through your chest shoulders your arms slowly lower yourself back down bring the knees down walk the hands in coming onto all fours and then walk both hands to the left lengthening the arms and coming onto your towards the floor with your chest and chin as best as you can so you're looking for a big side stretch hips up towards the ceiling inhale come up come to center exhale take it over to the other side walk your hands to the right just as far as is comfortable and then exhale yourself towards the floor feeling that stretch in your left side body in your left upper back notice where you are feeling it keep breathing keep pressing your hips up towards the ceiling inhale slowly come up return to center Let's tuck the toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes, exhale, bend your knees, look ahead. We're going to step, float or jump to the outsides of your hands. So when you are ready, come into your squat at the top of your mat, however you chose to get here. Hands at heart or maybe you want to make fists and bring the knuckles in towards each other. Elbows to the inside opening through your hips tailbone towards the floor lengthening through the crown of your head lengthening your spine stay lifted stay grounded through your feet as best as you can any other squat that feels better for you or is in your practice feel free to stay there keep breathing exhaling and inhaling lengthening let's bring the hands to the floor now we're going to come into a crow pose jump back alternatively you can make your way into your plank chaturanga any way you like so when you are ready choose your option and then chaturanga on your exhale inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog Good. Take a big breath in and out. Notice how you feel in your entire body. Inhale, sweep the right leg back behind, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack through your hips one more time, reaching that right foot behind the left leg, knee up towards the ceiling. Maybe you lift your head up, try to touch your foot to your head. Inhale and exhale keep breathing keep reaching keep opening 
On your next exhale, bring your right knee to the middle of your hands, pigeon pose. Set up in the way that you like, find your pigeon pose. Settling in through your hips, your legs. Come up onto your fingertips, find length through the crown of your head. Then take the arms up, interlacing your fingers, reaching up through your index fingers. Lengthening and finding a back bend perhaps. Notice how you feel. Stay wherever you feel best. Slowly go ahead and release the hands, release the arms, walk them out long and come into your sleeping pigeon. So stay in this variation or maybe you want to bend the back knee, bring the left foot in and bring the left hand to catch that left foot. So notice how you feel and notice what your body needs. So maybe you want to stay here, maybe you want to go to just a regular sleeping pigeon which is intense enough. Keep breathing wherever you choose to be, inhaling back of your rib cage, backs of your lungs and exhaling outer right hip, softening your belly, your chest, your face. Let's inhale, slowly come up, walk the hands in towards you. And then turn to your left leg, lengthen your left leg nice and long, bend the knee, bring the foot in towards you, left hand, left foot. If you have your foot, maybe you press the left heel to your left glute. Use your right hand for support. Keep it to the outside of the right hand. Keep yourself nice and supported. Stay here or maybe you slide your foot to your inner left elbow. Stay here or maybe you lift the right hand, the right arm, and bring the hands together, finding a mermaid bind. Stay opening through your chest and collarbone, sinking through your hips. Stay strong in your balance. Slowly go ahead and release whenever you have had enough. Both hands to mat, release the left leg back down, pigeon pose. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up, press the palms into the mat, take the right leg all the way back behind in a three-legged dog. Lengthen the right leg up towards the ceiling, point the toes or flex the foot. Look for activation in that right leg. Keep lengthening, keep pressing away through the palms, inhale, exhale, right foot to floor, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, stack through your hips, reaching that left foot behind the right leg. Keep opening, reaching through the toes or through your heel. Stay strong, keep opening through that hip. Again, you can maybe lift the head up, try to touch the foot to your head. Knee up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to floor pigeon pose. Come up onto your fingertips, settle in through your feet, take the right leg nice and long. Lengthen through the crown of your head as you press away through the fingertips. Find your balance. And then inhale, reach the arms up, interlacing your fingers, try and do the opposite of what you did on the first side, reaching the arms up and back, opening through your shoulders, finding the back bend, sinking through your hips, keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, release the hands to mat, walk your hands forwards, coming into your sleeping pigeon. Relax your head, relax your face, or soften your belly. Option to bend the back knee, bring the right foot in towards you, right hand to the right foot, press the heel towards the glute, or stay in your pigeon pose with your right leg long. Wherever you choose to be, focus on your breath, inhaling to the backs of your lungs, back of your rib cage. Exhaling, outer left hip, softening your belly, softening your chest, and softening all the muscles in your face. Slowly inhale, come all the way back up into your pigeon pose, settle in through your feet, find your balance, left hand or fingertips on the mat to support you. 
Turn to your right leg back behind, bend the right knee, right hand catches the right foot, press the right heel towards your right glute. Stay here or option to slide the foot to your right inner elbow. Stay here or maybe you lift the left arm all the way up, take it behind and your hands find each other in your mermaid bind. You can grip the hands with each other or hold the hands or you can rest them gently one on top of the other. Whatever helps you here to keep your balance and your back bend. Whenever you have had enough, slowly go ahead and release the left arm, release the right leg, both hands forward, press the palms into the mat, lift the back knee up, tuck the toes under, take the left leg all the way back behind. Take a big breath in, lengthen the left leg up, extend, find length, Keep breathing, find activation. Inhale, exhale, left foot to mat, downward dog. Notice your shoulders, notice the backs of your legs, notice your spine. Inhale, come up onto your toes, exhale, bend the knees. We're gonna jump to seated in a boat eventually. So jump, crossing your legs at the top, hips to the floor, legs up. However you choose to get here, finding a boat pose, any boat pose, so I chose to grab onto my big toes, lengthening my legs. You can choose an active boat pose, not holding onto your feet with your legs long or your knees bent. Keep breathing wherever you choose to be. Keep squeezing your belly. Keep your spine nice and long. Keep breathing, keep lengthening, and keep breathing. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, release the feet to the mat, take the hands back behind. Fingers face forward, windshield wipe your legs, dropping your knees from left to right, lengthening your right side body, lengthening your left side body. Come back to center, come to stillness, press the palms at the back. So press into the palms, press into the feet, lift your hips up in your reverse tabletop. Then option to lengthen the legs, press away through your feet. So keep trying to find your feet on the mat, even in your reverse plank with your legs long. Strong through your legs, look up or back, whatever feels comfortable. On your next exhale, slowly release your hips to the floor, bringing them between your hands. Well done, let's go ahead and reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, twist to your right, twisting your left shoulder back, inhale, come back up to center, arms reach up, exhale, twist to your left, inhale, come back to center, and exhale, forward fold. Keeping your feet flexed, keeping a bend in the knees if you like. Holding on to your big toes, holding on anywhere along your legs. Wherever you wish to be, focus on the stretch in the backs of your legs. Everything else is there just to facilitate it. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, go ahead and release. Keep the legs long. Lift your left leg up, reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the left foot or leg left arm reaches back in a twist or maybe you find your opposite sideways twisting your left shoulder back slowly release come back to center inhale arms reach up left leg to mat right leg lifts left hand to your right leg or foot right arm goes behind or maybe you find a bind twisting your right shoulder back Stay long and lengthen through your spine, through the crown of your head. Inhale, slowly return to center, arms reach up. Exhale, release the leg, release the arms, scooch to the front of your mat if you are not already there. Keep your knees bent or legs long. Inhale, arms reach forwards. Exhale, begin to squeeze your belly in, draw your ribs to the hips and lower yourself down onto the mat nice and slow. Take your time working one vertebra at a time. Once you are here, take the arms back behind, full body stretch. 
Bending into the knees, heels in line with your hips, keep them quite close, arms down by the sides of the body, bridge pose, press into your feet, push the knees forward, lift up, squeeze your glutes, interlace your fingers underneath as an option. Any bridge pose, stay strong, stay lifted. Inhale, shift the weight into your left leg, right leg lifts, knee into chest, exhale, lengthen the right leg. You can take your hands over to your right leg, pull it closer or keep your hands interlaced underneath. Inhale, exhale, right foot to floor, press into both heels, stay in your bridge pose, shift the weight into your right leg, lift the left leg up, knee into chest. Inhale, exhale, lengthen the leg, point the toes up, option to hold the leg, pull it forward or keep your hands interlaced underneath. On your next exhale, slowly release the left foot to floor. Breathing in, staying here, pressing into your heels, exhale yourself all the way back down, nice and slow, drop your knees from left to right. Okay, option to do the same, any bridge pose or find a wheel pose this time, hands by your ears, fingers, face your shoulders, press into your feet, push the knees forwards, lift up. Shifting the weight into your hands, press your palms into the mat, lengthen the arms, lift up into your wheel pose. Any wheel pose, you can do a few, you can stay and breathe in one, whatever your body is asking for. Keep breathing wherever you are. Having a play or staying still wherever you have chosen to be. Whenever you have had enough, slowly release yourself all the way back down to the mat. Bringing the knees into your chest and rocking on your lower back, maybe doing circles. Notice your breath, notice how you feel. Softening, relaxing all the muscles in your face. Release the feet onto the mat, take the legs out wide, take a big breath in and exhale, drop your knees over to the left, taking the arms long or maybe back behind, looking over your right shoulder, maybe you have your eyes closed. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop your knees over to the right, looking over your left shoulder or turning, maybe you have your eyes closed. Focusing on your breath, focusing on yourself. Take a big breath in, slowly come back to center and exhale, find your Shavasana coming into your relaxation pose. Setting yourself up in whatever way feels best for you right now. Find stillness. Relax through your entire body. Letting go of your breath. Relaxing all the muscles in your face. Softening your jaw, your cheeks. Relaxing your eyes and your eyebrows. The space between your eyebrows. Relax your forehead, back of your head, and the top of your head. As always, if you choose to take a longer Shavasana, feel free to stay here, switch me off. If you are with me, let's take the arms all the way back behind. Bringing the legs together, full body stretch, reaching through the fingers and pointing through your toes. Bending the knees, bringing them in towards your chest. And then slowly rolling over onto one side and making your way up to seated. Let's bring the hands together at the heart center. And gently, if you like, come to bow the head. Slowly blinking the eyes open when you are ready. 
thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed that back bending flow. And thank you so much for watching if you did. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like my video and maybe share it with someone else who you think would enjoy it too. I am wishing you a really lovely, beautiful rest of your day. And I hope to practice with you again real soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.